design. We also had the first weekend FAI flying, and we had an FAI contest, actually. Uh, we're not going to do the awards for that. They did that over the weekend, and took care of that. Many of them have already left. Uh, but that was a very busy time on a contest range. And at the same time, we're having a busy time on our sport range. So, with that, we'll continue to what we were doing actually in the non-FAI parts, because as I said, they were doing their, their wonderful things and having a great time getting ready to go to Poland next year. So on Saturday, we had a number of sport contests. Normally we have regular NAR contests where we do all our spot landings and parachutes and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of people are interested. Let's just do some fun, fun contests. So on Saturday, we had an incredibly busy day. We did Sputnik Memorial 5, Apollo Memorial 5, H Horizontal Super Rock, I Horizontal Super Rock, and a Saturday night swamp gas night launch. Uh, so something like five events. And uh, as some of you may have noticed on the registration page, we had a chance for people to sponsor events if they wanted to. Well, with our sport events, we only had one division. We didn't have A, B, C, and team. So it turned out that one sponsorship could go for five events. And the Saturday events were all sp sponsored by our Spanish members, uh, who kind of lives at a distance now, Matt Johnson. And he was especially interested in the night launch. So let's take a look. Uh, first, we'll start with a Sputnik and Apollo commemorative launches. And I cheated and took care of those kind of like Saturday night at the, uh, at the Oh, manufacturers. Manufacturers for them. Yes, thank you. Ah, he tells them a long week and weeks prior to that. And we only had one entry in each of the Sputnik and Apollo commemorative launches, and they were won by nobody of importance. <laughs> Actually, Bob Capo did it. He's got the medal somewhere. medals at this event, even if they weren't official uh, narrow contests. Then we went on to H Horizontal Super Rock, and again we had one entry, and he goes by the name of David Gilmore. And he on an H100 point lightning. And with luck they're finding a medal performance, if they don't, we'll get it to him. Do we have it? Ah, we do, yes. <laughs> and our next one is simpler, but the next notch more powerful. It's high horizontal super rock. And somebody who a model called a lamp post on an I-161, and that would be Steve Loveline.
and of course it's dark out, and all I saw was sparks with this black hole in the middle of it. And, <laughs> and I actually yelled because I took the step left and it went right into the range tent. And uh, if I hadn't moved, I do believe it would have hit me. So, uh, Marty, Marty Allen's dead. and we'll get the right one to him as soon as we can. So at least he's got a metal to hold. So. <laughs> that will imagine that right away is actually <laughs> We'll get you the right one. We have a lot of moving back and forth with the sport range metals. So some were out there and some were back here. And so moving around. Alrighty, on Sunday we had an event that was more popular. We had the 420 meter set altitude event. And we'll start hearing some familiar names on that. Are, are we finding our set altitude medals? Yes, I mean. Yes. And in first place, at 417 meters, so just three meters away from 420 meters, somebody flew a Nike smoke on a J460, and you're going to know this name, Trip Harbor. And in second place, 413 meters, so near 7 meters away from the 400 meter target, 420 meter target, we had a Mega Dread Max on an H123, and that was flown by Ed Chess. And that was flown by Gary Beaver. Yeah. Alrighty, and then what other event that took place, and all of those people who competed in it, if you can call it a competition, already had their prize, because that was the carnival launch that was run by our very own queen. Pam Gilmore. Sorry. And speaking of doing all the work, uh, the, the, today we had a cleanup, and of course it had been raining all day, but we did have a few good people who showed up, or stayed around really, to help us clean up. And among them is somebody from Columbia, South Carolina. And that's called Robin Nance. She's right there in the middle. Several people from Launch Crew who hung around to help us clean up, so we much appreciate those guys. And then, of course, the, the local section, and that is a lot of members of Smash, including uh, Nancy and Dave, or Dave and Pam. Uh, Nancy is over there, and all around here, they were hanging around until the last bit cleaning up and got everything packed up and cleaned up and put in boxes. Probably have to dry them out again later, but that's what happened. All right, as I flip my little page over to Monday here, my trusty clipboard, we had sea altitude with tracking. Mm -hmm. And I did it early in the week because I thought if it rained on Monday, we could postpone it until later in the week. And judging from today's weather, that's a good thing to do. Uh, so we'll start with A Division. In third place, with 255 meters, Madeline Pound. Mentioned and Pam is looking at me because she knows I've got 
as I'm going to try and get everybody up here, and then when they're all up here for their pictures, even though Madeline's shy, then we'll applaud. So let's go for number two at 324 meters. Emma Beaver. Oh, Madeline, stay up here. Oh, so nice. So, uh, Emma Beaver. Second place. And first place with 501 meters, Zachary Stenberg. Should be a record. 
It's like truckers, guys. If you can't see the lens, the lens can't see you. And we'll start with Ada Newton at 78 seconds, Emmett Bieber. Yes. In second place, 90 seconds, Madeline Pond. Madeline Pond. And at 623 seconds, Zachary Sandberg. That's a long time. Emma Beaver was third, Madeline Pound second, Zachary Stenberg was first. In third place, 
with her 1957 Cool Stuff Rocket on a B44, Robin Mance. In second place, with his flaming flamingo on a D12-3, Dave Gilmore. And in first place, with her pink book on a D12-3, Now we go 
in fourth place with 111 meters, G-Force. In first place with 118 meters, Neutron Fusion. In second place with 123 meters, Royal Rocketeers. And in first place with 130 meters, Murphy's Lawyers. see you. Green shirt, you're not visible. There you go. Okay, in the second event on Tuesday was the inevitable G event. It had to happen. Although we were merciful and in A to B division, we made a D helicopter duration. So for A and B division, it's D helicopter duration. And in A division, in third place, with an incredibly mighty nine seconds, Zachary Stenberg. In second place, with a slightly better but still good enough, 11 seconds, we have from South Carolina, Cameron Paul. And in first place, barely edging out of second place, with 12 seconds. We have Katie Wolfenberg. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Megan Wolfenberg. You're getting a more used to this, Katie. Man, it keeps the helicopter in fourth place with 62 seconds Ryan Estrada in third place with 104 seconds in second place with 221 seconds Clay Deaver and in first place with 223 seconds Alyssa Stenberg Thank you. 
you know. So this is a little evil eye. She's, she's got her opinions. They're probably right. Um, so in team division, with 36 seconds, are we sure that's not eight division? No, that's team division. Left the rotten egg in the capsule. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> what do you think we're going to do? So that's, that's the prestige of the trophy. I still have the bits and pieces of, I don't know why I got one 22 years ago in Arizona 37. They say I did something crazy, but I avenged this day. Hey, boy. <laughs> so this year again, we start off, you know, we're trying to do this in kind of chronological order. And we're going to start off the, the there was a couple pre narrow entries. Those were always legitimate. Uh, the first one happened about 51 weeks ago. And yeah, basically, when I get the award tonight right here, we start the clock for next year. So be careful what you do. Um, so at, at the banquet last year, I, I don't remember which club won the Rock Roll Trophy, but no one was there for the trophy. Thank you, it's over. John goes up and tells John, tells John Buckley, hey John, they're not here, you have to ship a trophy to him to stay down there. But John's like, that's cool, I can do that. Immediately Buckley looks at Keith Finier, who was the equipment guy at a trailer, goes, Keith, it ain't gonna fit in my Highlander, can you take it home with you and ship it? Keith, no problem. That was Friday night after the banquet ended. The next Friday evening, Keith Finier calls John Buckley. Hey John, uh, that trophy you want me to send? Uh, do we get that, do we get that out to those guys? I need the address. I know, like, here's the address, uh, and then he's like, when are you going to get it to me? And, and John's like, what, you don't have it? No. You didn't have it either, John? No. They lost the Rock Bowl trophy for a week. <laughs> John calls the hotel and has his daughter, who lives in Springfield, go up to the lamplighter. Uh, they didn't have any events that week, and the Rock Bowl trophy was just pushed in the corner, set on the table for the whole week. So, the Rock Bowl was lost the week, but it was founding. You know, John, you're getting nominations for that. That was a win. <laughs> the other one, because, well, I always try and work with this specific franchise if I can. Um, I was actually over in Cincy in March and happened to drive by the Nairn 47 luxurious Ramada. <laughs> it was uh, a wasteland and it was fenced off. You couldn't get in and I'm like, that looks like that's getting ready to be imploded. I was right. It was 12 years too late for the rest of us, but that Ramada is dead. Uh, we'll start the weekend off with the FAI, and I was out there on Saturday, I wasn't on Sunday, and there was yeah, some average stuff, nobody was really going to push it for the award. The one that really kind of caught my eye was Sean Music's horizontal staging of his Titan, which didn't go well. It ended ugly. <laughs> so he gets the FAI nomination, that was actually the only one that I really heard about much from that. Um, on the sport range this week, a uh, couple things I've seen and or heard about. Um, Dave Lewicki uh, had the great E9 KO. It's been a fantabulous one. It's been talked about here several times. Caplo had an Apollo capsule that actually burned on the pad <laughs> and started the pad on fire. No, the tent on fire. The tent on oh, the tent. Oh, burn on the tent. Now I'm going to He burned a hole in the range tent. Yeah, that might be an expense. Um, Dave Gilmore had an E9 Cato, and that was one that started the past fire. Um, let's see, we had, we had a great M1350 Cato. I mean, when an M Cato's, you get a show. That's, that's class B fireworks there, baby. Um, Allison and Milligan flew the Carnival win a prize, except she didn't win a prize. I don't know if they gave it to her, I don't know, but she, she's the only person that actually thermaled away the model. <laughs> So those were the episodes from the sport range. Uh, I got a couple notes here on the hotel. Uh, for those of you that got here you know, early Friday night to start an air mouth, be here early Saturday morning to sport flying, yeah, you were pretty much sitting a lot of weren't you? <laughs> you couldn't get checked in Friday night because the convention was here, you did late checkout or didn't check out. So there was like 
like 15 rooms that were for us that nobody did in the rear till like 8 or 10 o'clock at night. So we were sitting in the lobby going, uh, can we get a room? Well, maybe sometime. So I got to nominate the hotel on that. And I guess it was Saturday already where me and Lila were moving stuff in, and I think it was one of the ones right down this way at the hall. Yeah. Don't tell elevators out of order. You know it's in there, but don't tell elevators out of order. I mean, those, those are actually, I'm going to call out the Croy later, and I'm going to say, dude, please stop putting the out of elevator signs in the narrow equipment boxes. Because then you get put up at the hotel. And so, we don't have the ice machines work. That see, I could not do. So now we move over to contest range, where usually we get the more exciting crashes because we're either pushing stuff or we wait too long and have to move if it's going to work or not. <laughs> um, See, we'll start out uh, actually on the weekend. Mark Alanity uh, crashed a model through Bubbles' tent and put a hole. He was trying to take out Bubbles. So <laughs> we have the Canadians trying to take out the Americans. I'm like, that's, that's supposed to, it's the Can Am Cup. It was just like friendly. It was very friendly that day, apparently. But that's okay, because USA always comes back. Today, Blake Goddard got revenge for the USA. He thumped his night smoke on top of Mark Landy's bends. <laughs> you put a hole in our tent, we take out your bends. <laughs> I think it's 1 0, we are on. <laughs> um, I have to give nomination. Peter had a very nice carrot out there for the spotlighting. <laughs> uh, it's, it's unique, that's a unique nomination. Um, we have to kind of on this, kind of a common kid wall. It wasn't kid wall's fault, it wasn't Bob's fault, it wasn't really anybody's fault. But that nothing was closing for the first three hours on Monday because it was set up as a single baseline contest manager. But there wasn't enough trackers at NARA, so Bob switched from two trackers at the end of a single baseline to three stages of tracking. That's why nothing closed. So, gotta nominate that, just in general. Um, we had uh, the Buckley Piston. That popped off a super rock? I don't know what it was. It popped, it, it tickles up the rock, it pops off late, it glides back and almost whacks in our president. Hey, you take out a board member, at least especially the president, you're on the list. <laughs> so, um, let's see, we got Vern, Vern uh, Richardson's uh, helicopter model, a nice helicopter model, until the motor lit and the motor came apart. Violently, and that killed the model. So that was a nice kick over, and unfortunately, it kind of took your model out. So, um, yeah, Driver Cooper crashed a flex wing booster on the ground, and then it ejected the, the flex wing right next to Kid Wells, took him out with that. It's the flex wing. Yeah, it was the flex wing. Um, we had a G helicopter on Tuesday that bounced off the trailer. That's kind of like Shades of Chan bouncing off a PMC on the trailer at 47. We bounced the helicopter off the trailer. And you gotta just nominate all of G helicopter flight because you didn't know what was gonna happen. You're like, watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then today we had the CLA. And nothing was really like over the top. I mean, the I beams had a couple of nice loop de loops with their concept. I mean, that was pretty and everything. And a couple, you know, booster set but coming hot. But I'd say today's probably biggest one was the G-Force's dinosaur that came down, got qualified, but smacked the road and then went beyond the kidding after it smacked the road. You have Wait. an example, Jack. <laughs> there is examples of parts. If you get this, you will see what happened to that. So based upon all those, and you know, basically I I take hours. Slaving over for guns with the Hours. I stayed up all night last night trying to find narrow information. But I think when you have a scale model, it qualifies, but yet it impales itself on a road and is not flyable ever again. That's probably going to win. So go up here, Sean. <laughs>
on to Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we start out with Sea Pale Altitude. And this was sponsored medals as well. Apogee Components sponsored Sea Pale Altitude. So let's start out with A Division. And got some good altitudes at 251 meters. This was, by the way, altimeter day at the, the range, so we had done two days of tracking, and this was altimeter altitude, so whoever prefers each one has a shot at it, can put it on the other day. Um, Alrighty, in fourth place at 251 meters is Katie Wolfenberg. And third place with 256 meters, so we're getting close there, Madeline Pond. And second place with 281 meters, Emma Paper. And in first place with 434 meters, Zachary Stenberg. Quite as exciting as some of the higher impulse ones. 
in A Division in third place with 17,152 points in altitude of 128 meters, Madeline Cummins. In second place with 18,530 points in an altitude of 170 meters, Katie Wilkenberg. And in first place with 26,800 points in an altitude of 134 meters, Zachary Stenberg.
if you've got a few words to say about it. Yes. Um, I talked to his wife today, and Jared has had health issues for the last several years, but he is doing great. He is on dialysis. He had problems there for a while, but everything worked out, and he's <coughs> doing just fine. As you may recall, uh, Frederick Award was given to uh, an aide of his year who has used good craftsmanship in a non-craftsmanship event uh, in honor of David Frederick, uh, Jerry Frederick's son, who passed away by Love Mountain Rocketry. And Larry Rice is here to present it. And in this year, it was the craftsmanship event, or the non-craftsmanship event was open space. And we had someone with a beautifully painted and decaled big fur thought that our judges, which were the Czech people, thought was the very best one, you know, put spotlight in, and that is Madeline Pond. Queen, and 
She has been previously uh, a NERM contest director five years ago, and so I could go on and do things, and she would say, Bob, you forgot to do this, stupid, but she had already taken care of it. <laughs> and then it's Pam Gilmore.
see at it is the club who wins, and of course the chief newsletter judge is a lot of them located. Um, we have, who do we have here? We have a winner for best new newsletter, which goes to The Buzz. Yay! This is the newsletter of the Southwestern Ontario Association of Rocket Modelers. We have honorable mention goes to the launch rack. Which is published by the Garden State um, Model uh, Society, Garden State Space Model Society. And the winner, they've won before, once upon a time, many times, Zog 43.
Police Division, your contest director, DQ Dowd. Everybody smile. All right, Team Division. In fourth place with a black knight and 733 points, H Bomb. In third place with a black grand uh, 12 and 807 points, Royal Rocketeers. In seventh place with an Athena H and 956 points, Uncertainty Principal. And in first place, with an Argo D4 Javelin and 999 points, the Flying ID Kids. Spread out so you're not standing behind somebody. If I can't, camera can't see you, you won't see the picture. There you go. Yeah. 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 Rocket Girls. 
third place with the Lawson Broad Rocket from a fine day out. Although they needed some Wesley Dale keys with it. 644 points, tracking and altimeter buddies. In second place, with a super fun vehicle and 795 points, uncertainty principle. And in first place, with Thunderbird 3, the Super Marionation, 837 points. That actually doesn't say Super Marionation. 837 points, Neutron Fusion. Uh, B division, and then ended up with five competitors. 
And this is a bit of a quandary, as you may know, there is an A division or a B division prize that doesn't normally include A division, where in first place is 1,000, second place is 600, third 400, and fourth 200. Well, uh, we went that order with the B divisioners, but the A divisioner was an excellent competitor, so we allowed $100 as an honorable mention for that A divisioner who got stuck in with all these tough B divisioners. So we will start with fourth place in combined A and B division, and it was top tracking devices for competition model rocket launching, and that is Ryan Estrada. Ryan is B division. Mm -hmm. I've got all kinds of things in front of me and I'm trying to do the square wave, so here we go. And in third place, with his flex wing research and development, is Zachary Stenberg. And in second place, we have Does the Temperature of Altimeter Matter? Jay Richardson. <laughs> and in first place, with testing configurations for a Piston B Super Rock, would be Alyssa Stenberg. And for our remaining B divisioner who got fourth place is their worst, uh, let's see, what's the name? I can't remember, I think I lost, lost my name. Clay Beaver. Clay Beaver? Here we go. All right. So we got four places in the Okay, C Division. In fourth place, can smaller be more? And that is Bert Richardson. And in third place, nobody particularly important with engine mass versus total impulse and altitude variation. In second place, we have mid power helicopter recovery duration reliability, Alan Soker. And in third place, predicted and flight data for 13 millimeter piston launchers, Chris Flanagan. In second place, track of oh, program studies in 
technical performance and certification, tracking and altimeter bunnies. Further application of a lightweight hinge use oops, yeah, that's right. Lightweight hinge used for health operation models, 29 millimeter motors, new crop fusion. Yeah, I was just looking. Somehow I cut the page in the room. Right. 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 Come on, guys, move that way. George, I can't see you. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Rocketeers. 
in second place with 7,158 points, the Flying IP Kid. And in first place with 9,024 points, Neutron Fusion. Don't hide. <laughs> that backward eye beam kid, I can't see you. There you go. Nah, come on. You're hiding. There you go. And moving on to the biggest fighting part, national champions. Oh, I heard a wolf. Oh, section B. Uh, we have Opie's photo, but I wasn't given the numbers in section. Uh, so if we can get, actually if we can get me numbers for the section, that would be great. I was able to look them up. So. Do you have a fighting chance Chris? He's looking for them. We will have a section chance directly. I'm not sure how fast he can do this. He's running the okay. five, five minutes. So, should we go on to the answer? Okay. And then we will get back to the section one. And Tom Beach is doing the movement, so I'm not sure. He's ready to move. Okay, that's what we're saying. Okay, for national champion, the big exciting part. A division in fourth place with 5,102 points, Emmett Beaver. In third place with 10,847 points, Katie Wolfenberg. And in second place with 11,200 points, it's Madeline Pond. And in third place. We have 21,672 points. It's Zachary Stenberg. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, we're
and C division. Just do C division. No, that was C. That was C. Okay, C division, fourth place with 10,816 points. John Stenberg. In third place with 11,704 plays, Alan Soder. In second place with 15,484 points, Vern Richardson. And in third place, yeah, I'll see you guys always, 17,108 points, Chad Green. Thank you.
CCARC. And in second place, with 70,445 points, WSR. And in first place, with 106,891 points, launch crew. From all states stayed up here in the same time.
Project Mercury, and um, just a little bit older than the day of the stamp, so. Joyce?
the narrow 59 is officially over. Thank you all. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next year.